So is the future like they say it's going to be, like flying cars and robots and all that? Yeah. We've got flying cars. They're called F-crafts. We've got robots, primarily working off of AI. We don't have homes like you do now. We have what's called pods. Homes were completely done away with by the 3000s. Pods are, they're like homes, but a lot smaller, airtight, sealed. They don't affix to the ground. They use magnetic technology. So basically, you flip a switch, it locks. You flip off the switch, it unlocks. And this is done for transportation purposes. Robots are primarily used for labor positions. Uh, AI, which you have already started to implement in your time, uh, but we use on a much larger scale. The first story I read about you, you were arrested for stealing food. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, that was the first day I got here, actually. I, uh, I wasn't aware of your customs here yet. You see, in the future, things like fruit, water, some vegetables, they're free in the marketplaces. We have what's called nourishment centers, where basically you're allowed up to three items at no cost. And fruit, you never have to pay for. So it's just a simple misunderstanding, really. Oh, and water. I still can't get over the fact that you guys pay for water to be bottled up here. <laughs> Your time makes history in so many ways. After our interview, I found myself pretty amazed. I'm not saying I'm a believer at this point. I mean, anyone can make up a story, but I have to admit it, it's a pretty good story. After a few days went by, I thought of a million more questions I wanted to ask. I found myself wanting more, more information about the supposed future. And more importantly, I wanted to push for more proof, something that can point to the truth. I really wanted to know, is this guy from the future or is it all just a story?